Hello, everybody. In this episode, we're going to use REPL.IT uh, to create our very first website. So, in the last video, I showed you how to create an account. Super easy. Make sure you're logged into your account. And let's start by hitting New. And you can see all kinds of different languages. We're going to use HTML and CSS. Um, the very first thing we're going to call this is hello world and then go ahead and throw your initials on it i'm just going to throw my last name on it but you guys can throw your either your last name or your initials there you go I, for some reason i had that air up there i just need to learn to be patient and let the computer finish loading things okay so html stands for hypertext markup language and uses tags <coughs> excuse me um and so we've got your files over here we've got our code or index here and then we've got our display over here um you can change your display that's for future us and um you can open a new tab this is essentially the bigger display for this right so um we're going to start adding some tags so each of these are different tags where you have the brackets all right um and we're going to go through and make headers and and get all kinds of um stuff added to this information added to this and this will be our very first website so let's look at the script right we're gonna go underneath the script. We're not gonna mess with the script right now. Um, we'll change some format things a little bit later. But in this episode, let's start by doing H1, okay? You can see we have a beginner tab, tag, sorry, right there, and then a, um, um, a closing header tag right here with that backslash. And then what we're going to write is hello world in between there we're gonna hit run here and all of a sudden this is what our website would look like if i go up here to our our website and i hit refresh you've just made your very first website say hello world good job now let's add some more stuff right so this website is going to be all about um adding headers adding um, paragraphs and um, just a little bit tiny introduction formatting. This is beginner video for um, coding. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to type in is P1. You can hit enter and then we've got to go into um, the information or I'm sorry, in between the brackets there and just type in I've got to put my cursor back there. My name is Mr. Ponder. And we hit run. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time there. And we can hit refresh here to see the changes. So you've got your paragraph one all started. Let's add some more um, headers and paragraphs. So I'm going to jump down. You'll see that there's H1, H6. I'm going to go, I'm going to type in H three right now and show you what the difference is um and then i'll put class here and then i'm going to do p3 to kind of to line those up so i've got a he header three and a paragraph three so this class is introduction to computer science and you'll notice you don't have spelling errors. Introduction. You don't have that red squiggly line. So be careful. It, sometimes it's it's good to write what you want to say in like a Google Doc and let the um, spell check, Grammarly, find your mistakes, and then paste what you want to say here. All right. I've got a Y there I need to take out. I don't know how that got there. Okay. Here we go. 
So this class is Introduction to Computer Science. You can see that the H3 is about half the size as the H1. And if I go here to H6 and I type this weekend and I type here P6, um, let's see, I want to code. learn to code period and i hit update you can see this p6 super small or paragraph uh, i'm sorry header six h6 super small so you know what i'm going to change this back to header three i'm going to change this to header three um and then i'm going to hit run and you can see that the class the word class and the word this weekend are um, the same, same size at least. Okay, I want to learn to code. I want to mow the lawn. I want to barbecue. Well, okay, I'm going to run it. You can see you've got this big long I want to. Um, if Here's how you do a little bit of formatting. So in between these sentences, I'm going to type the word ER. And what that does is it breaks the, the words or it breaks the sentences. And we can add little breaks in between it so it can make it a list. Oops. Put a space there. ER, hit that. And I can hit run here. And we can see. Our website has some things on there just like we coded. And this is where I want to call a timeout and have you guys do something really similar. Please have it say, hello world, my name is, put your name there, um, and then class, and then this class is Introduction to Computer Science, and then you can say this weekend or this week and have three to five things on what you want to do this week or in the next week. Uh, including the weekend, all right? Uh, after you're done with that, you're going to hit this tab right here, which is right up here, and you can copy this link right there and turn it in to our Google Classroom. We are gonna start coding and having some good times in this class. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.